what you waiting for, Cool Breeze? Get buck naked right now. Get it off, son. First of all, you better check your tone ring, man. I don't think you know who you're talking to. Little Washington. Don't get butt naked for nobody. You want this roll, nigga? You're gonna have to shoot me. Okay. <laughs> What is up? What's going on guys? Trizzle here, tuning in, bringing you guys another great three-star tutorial. Today, we are going to be getting into the definitive bat slap guide. Um, this is going to cover Town Hall 11 and Town Hall 12. Um, and as you guys saw from the intro, hashtag, bitch better have my money, hashtag, check your tone, bitch. <laughs> uh, so let's not waste any time guys let's go ahead and hop right into it starting of course with the army um, so we're gonna get into the town hall 12 version uh, which is gonna require you to bring two archers one wizard five healers one electro dragon 12 witches two ice golems a wall wrecker for your siege machine you're gonna be bringing two ice golems in your CC two balloons and then your grand warden will be set to ground mode uh, for the spells you're gonna be bringing three free spells one poison spell seven bat spells and one raid spell for your CC um, that's gonna take us to the town hall 11 army uh, which is gonna be one archer three wizards five healers one Electro Dragon, 11 Witches, one Ice Golem, and for your Siege Machine you'll be bringing a Wall Wrecker, uh, you'll be bringing two Ice Golems for your CC Troops, and one Balloon, and again the Grand Warden will be set to Ground Mode. Um, as, as far as your spells for Town Hall 11, uh, pretty much the same thing except you're going to bring uh, two Bat Spells in the CC to kind of even it up. So it's going to be three Free Spells, one Poison Spell, Five bat spells of your own, one raid spell, and of course two max CC, um, two bat, two max bat spells for your CC. Um, and that's going to bring us to the tips for success, guys. Um, starting with the first tip, uh, this is best used on bases that aren't extremely spread out. Uh, it's most effective against single target infernos, and you've got to make sure that you're using max town hall 11 and town hall 11, uh, town hall 11 and town hall 12 troops. Uh, based on your appropriate town hall as well as max heroes only now you always want to scout the base and plan your attack uh, keep in mind that this this particular army there's two main phases to the attack you never want to start phase two before completing phase one very important guys uh, phase one uh, the main army needs to take out the eagle artillery no exceptions um, it also needs to address the CC troops if it's on its way to it uh, to the town hall excuse me uh, phase two after the eagle artillery goes down, the bat spells are going to basically take out the other half of the base. The last tip for success guys, practice, practice, memorize those raid objectives and practice some more. Uh, you can never practice too much and the more comfortable you are with the raid, uh, the more muscle memory, the more second nature it becomes. It's just that much easier guys. So make sure you're getting those practice hits in. Now that's going to bring us to the raid objectives. Uh, starting with phase one, uh, the first raid objective is going to be to always start by scouting the base so you can determine the best side of the base to attack. Plan your opening for your AQ walk and the entry point for your army, and the AQ charge kill squad has to be able to take out the eagle artillery. Number two, make note of the wizard towers and the multi-targeting infernos so you know where you're going to use your free spells and scout the best place to deploy your ice golems and your bat spells. Now, number three, deploy your electro dragon to begin the funnel for your AQ walk. Try not to deploy the E-drag where it can be immediately targeted by any air defense or any expos. Number four, deploy your archer queen and five healers to target her 
followed by your Grand Warden. Be smart on where you deploy your Archer Queen since you don't have extra raid spells uh, you want to keep an eye on any air defenses that can snipe your healers. Number 5. Deploy your king followed by three witches on the opposite side of the funnel um, and the main purpose of the king is to close the funnel uh, on the opposite side so you can prepare the entry point and make sure your main army doesn't circle the base. Now be careful not to drop him too close to the archer queen so that healers don't retarget him. Uh, number 6. Deploy the wall wrecker in between your king and queen. Try to line up your wall wrecker so it will allow your army to take out the eagle artillery and open up as many compartments as, as soon as possible. Um, use a freeze on the Grand Warden, uh, excuse me, use the freeze or the Grand Warden ability if necessary to prevent the single target infernos from destroying the wall wrecker before it can access the Eagle Artillery and open up the base. Number seven, as the AQ healers Grand Warden falls in behind the wall wrecker, deploy the rest of your witches directly behind the wall wrecker so all of your troops will converge together. Number eight, deploy your poison spell as needed to help your army uh, destroy the defensive CC troops. And then you're gonna use a raid spell to help your army take out the Eagle Artillery and work its way into the base. Number nine, make the most of your Grand Warden ability, guys. Uh, unless you were forced to use it early and to, uh, to protect your wall wrecker, make sure you use it to help your army take down the Eagle Artillery and keep it from taking too much damage. Um, and that's actually the end of phase one, guys. Um, and you'll see what I'm talking about as I go get into the replays. Um, but the next phase is going to be phase two. And as you're uh, watching the kill squad process the first couple two layers of the base as it works its way through the eagle artillery, that's where you want to start looking at uh, where you're going to be starting phase two. So number 10, after the eagle artillery goes down, deploy your ice golem to tank for your wizard towers followed by your bat spells on the edge of the base. Drop the bat spells adjacent to the main army, starting on the opposite side of the base. Like I mentioned guys, the main group of the army is gonna be taken out one side of the base more or less, and the bat spells will take out the other side. Number 11, use your freeze spells to help keep your bats alive. As your bats move in range, focus on freezing multi-target infernos, wizard towers, and the giga tesla um, and that's for Town Hall 12. You're going to want to use the other Ice Golem to tank for any Wizard Towers um, as the bat spells work their way around the base. If you're a Town Hall 11, you only brought the one Ice Golem. Um, just be smart where you open it up. Um, number 12, deploy your cleanup troops after the bat spells have cleared all the defenses from that area of the base. Um, so that way you, you don't run out of time. And then last but not least, number 13, sit back, relax. Max relaxing all cool, shooting some b-ball outside of the school, collect that 3 star guys. Yes, that's right, number 13 is to sit back and collect your 3 star. Now a couple things to mention that you would never want to forget, um, don't forget to select the wall wrecker if you're bringing your own um, and if you don't have one donate, donated to you, you want to make sure that you select it before you go into the, to the raid. Uh, make the most of your king guys, never let his help health dip below halfway or allow any single target infernos to lock on to him before using his iron fist ability. The last thing you want to remember guys, keep an eye on your archer queen during phase 2 so you can pop her ability if necessary. If you're not careful she can go down before you get a chance to use her ability while you're deploying those bat and free spells so make sure you keep an eye on her. Um, and that's going to bring us right into the actual replays, guys. I'm going to show you the replays for Town Hall 12, um, and then we'll get into a couple Town Hall 11 replays. Um, but this attack is so sick, guys. Um, so let's go ahead and hop right into it. And as you can see, um, on this particular base, the, um, the Inferno was kind of out there. So I went ahead and dropped the troop so I can take it out immediately, followed by the Electro Dragon to begin the funnel on the right corner. And then that's going to allow the, uh, the queen to track upwards. Um, and then from there, I ended up dropping the king along with his three wi uh, witches to start the funnel. And then down goes the wall wrecker, down goes the, the witches. And as they converge into one, uh, you're going to use that raid spell. Um, pro tip on this, guys, it is important for the queen to stay alive. Um, so if you want to be biased on that raid spell and lean more towards keeping the queen up, 
um, when you get your army to come together, that's okay. But having the queen stay up is very important, uh, more important than just raging, you know, a group of witches. So as the uh, the army um, takes out the eagle, um, you'll notice that on the left is where I was able to drop the uh, the bat bomb, um, and I dropped a ice golem to start, followed by all the bat spells, and they just come in and they flank the entire base, um, and then from there you just want to manage as you drop your free spells. Now on this one, um, I ended up um, kind of getting. Um, really unlucky and a lot of the uh, the bat spells got taken out early uh, but the beauty of this attack is that if you follow the the raid objectives in sequence uh, you really can't go wrong because you'll be able to process everything that's powerful enough on the base to really do damage to your army and as long as you've got those healers locked onto a queen um, and several witches for support um, they can actually take out the rest of the base um, if you've done it right so please, please, please make sure you watch those raid objectives, guys, and follow them step by step. So that's it on this attack. This is why black people don't have nothing. Is this what they want us to do? Your mother ain't shit. All right, so here we have uh, another pretty much max Town Hall 12. Um, and you're going to want to, again, set up that Electro Dragon so you can make the most of your funnel. And you always want to be able to attack into the Eagle Artillery. That way your kill squad is gonna be responsible for taking that out ASAP. So this one, I didn't have to do much of a queen walk. Uh, the king goes down fairly early. The queen doesn't really have to track very much before the wall wrecker goes in um, as we progress into the base, uh, making sure we take out that eagle artillery. So you'll notice I had to drop the raid spell a little bit early on this one uh, to supercharge the healers and get that queen um, back up. Um, and then from there, you know, we just go in, we'll pop the Warden ability, and then you'll notice on the top left, down comes the Ice Golems, down comes the Bat Spells, and then from there, you just manage your, your free spells, guys. Um, it's a good thing, because you have three free spells, so it, it goes a very long way. Um, I actually kind of messed up a little bit on this one, because I could have made us a little bit better use of the Ice Golem in the top right, but you'll notice that by the end of it, you know, the Queen is still up, um, there's still healers, which is always a great thing, um, the Warden's still up, and the King's still up. So, very, very strong attack, guys. Um, I I was blown away when I saw this, and it reminded me once again just how broken bat spells are. Now, just so you know, Todd would usually do the dishes after dinner. Well, just so you know, his ass will be back April 13th. <laughs> Don't be done, girl. Lop top. You do your homework? Yeah. I'm going to stay as a wash your ass and then we'll watch Martin Lawrence. You want me to light your cigarette for you, too? I'm going to check your tone, girl. Keep your inside voice on. So I'll push your ass outside. <laughs> I mean, it, it's broken in a good way, I guess, because um, it's not like Town Hall 12 is the easiest thing in the world. But, you know, it's still, you know, some people would say, um, unfair maybe I don't know this is gonna be the Town Hall 11 version and you're gonna be following the same basic rubric uh, you gotta get in with your main army to take out that Eagle artillery uh, before you can do your phase 2 uh, portion of the attack so Eagle art uh, the Electro Dragon establishes the funnel on the, the one side the King and three witches will close the funnel on the other side the wall wrecker will allow your queen healers followed by that cluster of witches to funnel into the base and on this particular one the king ends up joining the party um, and you'll notice that that ends up doing a lot of damage uh, so everything comes into the core uh, from there we're able to take out the eagle and then you'll notice on the far left hand side down goes the ice golems and down goes the bat spells so we're going to go ahead and freeze that wizard tower uh, the um, other defenses in the core are pretty much tied up um, on those other troops in the main army. So from there, we're actually able to keep everything distracted. And you'll notice that the left-hand side of the base has already been processed. Uh, down goes everything on the far left. And because the healers are still up, um, you're really able to, to do a lot of work. Now, I still have two free spells at this point. You know, so I'm just waiting to use it in the best spell uh, places possible. Like I said, you always want to look out for wizard towers, um, multi-targeting infernos, um, anything that's going to do damage, especially splash damage, 
uh, to those bad spells is you want to keep them up as much long as possible. Uh, once they work through a, a section of the base, guys, go ahead and get those cleanup troops down early. Uh, drop your wizards, get them down on the map, um, so that way you don't have any time fails. Uh, so once everything gets taken out on the, the bottom and the left hand side, um, the rest of the army is able to go ahead and finish processing the the few structures that are left up on the base. So let's go ahead and fast forward that a little bit. Uh, by the end of it, I actually still had a, an additional freeze. Uh, so you'll notice that all the heroes are still alive, pretty much full health. Uh, there's at least another six, maybe seven witches alive. Uh, one of the ice golems are up. And like I said, full health heroes still had abilities in tow. So extremely strong guys, very, very, very fun raid. Um, and it's definitely something that, that's versatile. So whether you're Town Hall 11 or Town Hall 12, you can definitely bring this to the party. So let's go ahead and look at one more Town Hall 11 hit. Um, and again, it's always the same basic principles. Uh, your main objective is gonna be to take out that Eagle Artillery with your main army, and then pull out the, the bat spells to take out you know pretty much what's left. So going in on the top right hand side of the base, we get a nice start to the funnel with the Electro Drag. Uh, the King closes out the other opposite end of the funnel and in comes the Wall Wrecker. So as the Wall, wall Wrecker grants access into the Eagle Artillery compartments, uh, the rest of the army will follow up, uh, making sure that you, know, you guys can get that press, uh, push into the core, taking out the Eagle, um, pulling aggro from those higher uh, defenses in the middle of the base, and then once the eagle goes down, now is where you plan to drop your bat spells and ice golem, which on this army, on this base, excuse me, the bottom right hand corner ends up being the ideal target. Down goes the ice golem, so I didn't have to run a freeze spell there. I just let the ice golem tank for the bat spells, and then from there we just freeze any wizard towers that are up. Um, I'm able to take out everything on the right hand side, uh, we freeze the other wizard tower that was still more or less closest to the last clump of bats. And then by the end of it, uh, the freeze takes out uh, that wi wizard tower uh, just in time for the witches to more or less move through the, the other higher, higher structures that were in the core. So down goes the clan castle. Of course, we still have uh, full health heroes more or less because the healers are still up. Um, and that's pretty much it guys, you know, I'm not going to bore you through the end of this attack, but as you can see, another Thripolsky, three more stars for your boy, um, and again, this, this raid is so OP, um, I, I don't want to, you know, speak too loudly because Supercell might hear me, but damn, them bad spells be like, whoa, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Alright, so let's go ahead and show the final replay that I wanted to show you guys. And uh, this was uh, another Town Hall 11 hit, so I probably won't let this one play out as much, but um, it's pretty much win rinse, wash, repeat. Uh, use that Electro Dragon to open the funnel. Um, use the King and Three Witches to close the funnel. Uh, use your Wall Wrecker to bring the Queen Healer and the rest of your Witches into the core. Take out the Eagle Artillery using a Raid Spell, using the Tome. Um, and then once those main objectives go down, you're gonna drop your Ice Golem, and then down comes the Bat Wave, or Bat Bomb, um, to take out the rest of the base. Uh, use your free spells wisely. Um, again, always on Wizard Towers, always on Multi-Targeted Infernos. Um, and then as long as you do those things, guys, I mean, it's pretty much a wrap. Um, as long as, you know, the Eagle isn't completely centralized in the core of the base, where you run the risk of not getting to it, um, that, that would be the only time I would recommend maybe not using this army if you're not sure you'll be able to take out the Eagle Artillery early enough. But still guys, you gotta get on this. So at this point in the game, if you haven't already maxed your bat spells, you need to smack yourself um, and then go max your bat spells. Um, but with that being said, as you guys can see, um, the, 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 the landscape is, is pretty amazing right now. Uh, there's so much versatility to the raids that are out there, uh, whether you're an uh, Electro Dragon guy, whether you're a Queen Walk guy, Pekka Bobat, uh, Jaiwi Bobat, um, Jaiwi Bo, Electro Dragloon, Electrone. Um, now we've got Bat Slap. I mean, 
Things are exciting, guys. Bogo Ho, how can I forget Queen Walt Miner? I mean, so that's what I like to see, guys, that versatility, that variety to the game. Um, it gets annoying and, and kind of stale and lame when you just have one army that's super OP, doing nothing but work, and then everybody starts using that army. I like to see it mixed up a little bit. So shout out to Supercell, um, and shout out to you who made it all the way to the end of the video. Um, really appreciate you guys watching. Uh, make sure that you are coming by every Sunday night for the live stream uh, where we do our raffles and stream giveaways. Uh, we do monthly contests, guys. So if you're new to the channel, uh, try not to be a stranger. I know sometimes you may not necessarily want to you know, speak up um, or you know, be vocal in the, the live stream chat, but say hello. Uh, we've got a, a Discord. I'm going to try to link that down below, so make sure you guys check that out. We've got a great community going. Um, and as much as I want to, you know, grow the channel and help give back to you guys, um, I know that you guys appreciate the content. So when it's all said and done, really appreciate you guys watching all the way to the end. Trizzle tuning out. Ooh. Leonard and I hardly even talk anymore. The other night, he came home at 3 in the morning. I had no idea where he was. He, he uses profanity around Jeffrey. I, I, I just don't feel like we're sharing. I, I don't feel like there's any reciprocity there. How do you feel about all this, Leonard? Bitch, I'll never forgive you for this. Go on, get in the car. Warm it up. <laughs>